Mikey in the trunk, then we take him to the dump. And they know we play for keeps, and they know that we ain't sweep. Grab a broom, we finna sweep. O block finna clean the streets. Boy, you better grab a heat or get put up on a T. Put your name back RIP. Hey, no, since you where you gotta throw up O block. Yeah, that's O Block right there, that one place in Chicago you definitely don't want to mess around in. A block of 24 apartment blocks in the heart of Chicago's south side, O Block is a neighborhood known for its rough streets and the notorious gangs that rule them. Today, we are going to talk about a particular set among these gangs, a group of individuals who have gained notoriety not just for their brazen acts of violence, but also their astonishing lack of intelligence. They are O Block's dumb best gangsters, the very ones responsible for the shocking unaliving of rapper FBG Duck. Five alleged Chicago street gang members now facing federal charges in connection with the shooting death of a local rapper downtown. Now, remember what we said about these guys being dumb? Yeah, they brought their own downfall through reckless self-incrimination. I mean, sure, they are dangerous and violent, but there's a certain grim comedy in seeing how these guys scored such own goals. These very individuals responsible for FBG Duck's demise ended up sealing their own fate through their sheer stupidity. Rather than laying low and evading justice, these so-called gangsters made the colossal mistake of self-snitching. I mean, just look at this. The charges announced today by the U.S. attorney who says social media played a role in this case. And then it was promoted and bragged about on social media. And the feds say it was because of that, that helped them make this case. Yes, you heard that right. They incriminated themselves by bragging about the crime on social media, unwittingly providing the authorities with the evidence needed to ensure their swift capture and sentencing. It was a foolish move that would cost them their freedom, their futures, and their lives as they knew it. And you'd think they'd be sensible after hearing people like Charlemagne Tagad speak on this issue. The radio host once said, Why oh why do you rappers get online and tell on yourselves, okay? Don't get me wrong. I'm happy when y'all do, Charlemagne continued. Because you make law enforcement's job so easy, and I want that criminal element off the street as well. But what part of your brain makes you think that's okay? I've been on this radio for years telling you that what you do online will get you jammed up offline. FBI stands for Facebook and Instagram. Continuing, Charlemagne said, All you rappers who get on these social media platforms and talk about your ops, you unalived, the feds are listening, they're watching. Seeming even more pissed, he further said, all you rappers who get on these social media platforms and talk about smoking your ops, smoking your ops pack, or whatever the hell y'all young boys say, in the words of Charles Barkley, I guarantee, I guarantee you going to prison. This is definitely a head-scratcher. Phew, what a move. One that defies all logical reasoning, the kyers of FBG Duck fell victim to their own stupidity and foolishness. I know, the question of how it happened might be popping up in your mind right now, but buckle up guys, cause we're about to dive in. So let's briefly talk about the journey of FBG Duck's musical career, his beef with rival gangs, and what brought about his death. FBG Duck, a talented rapper hailing from Chicago, has been making waves in the music industry, especially within the drill rap scene. Born Carlton D. Weekly. He adopted the stage name FBG Duck, representing his affiliation with the Flyboy Gang, FBG Collective. FBG Duck's rise to fame began with his early releases, which showcased his raw talent and unique style. His music often reflects the harsh realities of life in Chicago's South Side, where violence and struggle are prevalent themes. Despite facing adversity, FBG Duck's determination to succeed in the music industry has earned him respect and admiration from fans worldwide. One of FBG Duck's most notable tracks is Slide, which gained significant attention for its catchy beat and authentic lyrics. The song's success helped it propel FBG Duck into the spotlight, solidifying his position as a rising star in the rap scene. Aside from his music, 
FBG Duck was also known for his charismatic personality and entrepreneurial spirit. He was committed to uplifting his community and providing opportunities for other aspiring artists. In Chicago, gangs play a big role in how some people live their lives. These gangs stick together to carry out their illegal activities. But another issue is that they often fight with other gangs, and these fights, called beefs, can get really serious. It was one of these beefs that FBG Duck was caught up in, a beef that became fatal for him. As already said, he was part of a gang called Fly Boy Gang, or FBG for short. FBG Duck became known not just for his music, but also for his involvement in the gang world. The rapper had beef with several rival gangs in Chicago, and one of the biggest rivalries was with a gang called Tuca Gang, named after a member who was unalived. This beef wasn't just about words, it often turned violent. There were shootings and even kings on both sides, as the gangs fought for control of their neighborhoods. Another rival gang FBG Duck had issues with was O Block, also known as Lamron. This feud was intense and went back years. It was fueled by a mix of territorial disputes, personal vendettas, and pride. FBG Duck and his crew clashed with members of O Block multiple times, leading to more violence and tension. One specific incident that stands out is when FBG Duck's close friend and fellow rapper Lil Mister was unalived. Lil Mister was associated with FBG and was known for dissing rival gangs in his music. His death was a big blow to FBG Duck and added fuel to the fire in their feud with opposing gangs. The beef between FBG Duck and rival gangs wasn't just about gang territory or reputation. It was deeply personal. Each side had lost friends and family members to the ongoing violence, which only fueled the cycle of retaliation. Despite the dangers, FBG Duck continued to rap about his experiences and the struggles of life in Chicago's streets. His music often reflected the harsh realities of gang life, including the ongoing feuds and violence. Unfortunately, FBG Duck's involvement in the gang dynamics of Chicago ultimately led to his own tragic death. In August 2020, he was fatally shot in a targeted attack while shopping in the Gold Coast neighborhood. His M was believed to be linked to the ongoing conflicts between rival gangs in the city. On the day of his death, FBG Duck was shopping in the Gold Coast neighborhood of Chicago, a bustling area known for its upscale shops and restaurants. It is said that Duck got out of a car, driven by his girlfriend, and stood in a line outside before being shot. Duck's mother said he was shopping for a present for his son when four people got out of cars and opened fire on pedestrians on the sidewalk. Duck was taken to a hospital nearby, where he was later pronounced dead. What began as a routine shopping trip quickly escalated into a violent confrontation. Eyewitnesses reported hearing multiple gunshots ring out on the crowded street as chaos erupted. FBG Duck was struck multiple times and collapsed on the pavement, succumbing to his injuries before help could arrive. His two friends were also wounded in the attack but survived. The events leading up to the shooting remain murky, with speculation rife about the motives behind the attack. Some believe it was a targeted hit, possibly linked to ongoing feuds within the Chicago rap community. Others suggest it may have been a random act of violence, fueled by the city's pervasive gang culture. Police believe the M of FBG Duck was in retaliation for a threat video called Dead Bees, in which Duck dissed dead members of the rival Black Disciples gang. Dead Bees got more than 21.1 million views on YouTube. Police believe the video might have made him a target. Duck's shooting might have been motivated by derogatory statements toward deceased members of the Black Disciples, made by Duck on social media. The FBI affidavit points to multiple online videos, including a July 2020 YouTube rap video in which he performed as FBG Duck. Said I wasn't going to diss the dead, and okay I did it, Duck said. According to the FBI, Duck mentions, in a degrading manner, nine names, aliases, and or monikers of deceased individuals all believed to be Black Disciples. 
Among them was O.D. Perry, who was shot and unalived in 2000 in Tivan at age 20, and is the name Saki for O Block, according to the Affidavit. Two weeks after the shooting, an informant in Chicago police custody told detectives and FBI agents that someone affiliated with the Black Disciples street gang had offered up $50,000 to anyone that unalived weekly and later raised the bounty to $100,000, according to the police records. Another tipster told investigators, Duck had a price on his head, the records show. After the tragic incident, the perpetrators made a grave error by boasting about their involvement in the crime online. Posts on various social media platforms surfaced, with individuals flaunting their involvement in FBG Ducks M. Some shared photos brandishing weapons, while others openly admitted to their roles in the crime. Social media platforms like Twitter were used by individuals involved in the deadly war to publicly brag about their acts of violence, further perpetuating the cycle of violence and showcasing the dangerous mindset of those involved. Social media becomes a platform for mocking and celebrating the deaths of rival gang members, further fueling the cycle of violence. Social media platforms have become a double-edged sword, offering both a means of communication and a digital footprint for law enforcement to follow. In this case, the perpetrators fell victim to their own hubris, underestimating the power of digital evidence. It has changed the dynamics of gang violence, with gangs now recording and documenting their tit-for-tat revenge wars for the world to see, seeking clout and attention. Despite the internet openly identifying the individuals involved in the M, they continued to self-snitch and flaunt their involvement on social media, displaying a shocking level of arrogance and disregard for the consequences. These careless acts provided law enforcement with vital clues and evidence, allowing them to swiftly track down the perpetrators. Law enforcement agencies utilized advanced digital forensic techniques to comb through the vast amount of online content related to the M. They identified individuals involved in the crime based on their social media activity and connections. Marcus Muop, Smart, 24, Christopher C. Thang, Thomas, 24, Kenneth, Kenny Mack, Robertson, 30, Charles C.M., Liggins, 32, Takarlos Los, Offered, 32, and Ralph Teasy, Turpin, 34, were all found guilty of M in aid of racketeering and conspiring to unalive Duck. Smart, Thomas, Robertson, Liggins, and Offord were also convicted of using a firearm during the commission of the M, but their verdicts were split. Liggins, an alleged gunman, and Robertson, an alleged getaway driver, were found guilty of shooting Duck's girlfriend and using a gun in the attack but they were acquitted on the same charges relating to the shooting of the other victim. Smart, another alleged shooter, and Offord, the second driver, were convicted of wounding that victim and using a gun in the shooting, but they were found not guilty of the counts related to Duck's girlfriend. The jury's verdicts today hold the six defendants accountable for a brutal M that took the life of Carlton Weekly, also known as Duck, law enforcement said in a statement. Weekly's mother, Lashina Weekly, wept as she listened to the jury verdicts in an overflowing courtroom at a federal courthouse in Chicago. After following all the twists and turns of the trial, Lashina Weekly said she could finally find some closure. Knowing that they will not do that to another family brings me comfort. Knowing they will not terrorize nobody else, she said. They're done, the whole crew. Oh, block, and everything is done, she added. I could never want another mother to feel like this, to see their child shot down in the street like a dog. They had FBG duck death parties. That's how much it meant to them. She and her loved ones said they were planning a much different celebration, a justice for duck party. When I go home and tell my grandkids that their father's justice has been served, that's going to be a big burden lifted off my shoulders, she told reporters after the verdicts were announced. I just want to thank the United States government for doing a very good job in making sure that these guys will never hurt another mom and another child again. Ultimately, the perpetrator's own words and actions on social media served as damning evidence against them in court. Their careless boasting and bragging not only incriminated them, 
but also highlighted the importance of digital literacy and responsible online behavior. From FBG Duck's story, important lessons emerge. It serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of glorifying street life and engaging in online conflicts. His untimely death underscores the harsh realities of violence and its consequences, urging individuals to seek peaceful resolutions and avoid perpetuating cycles of retaliation. The saga of Oblock's dumbest gangsters serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of reckless actions and the perils of a life defined by violence and hubris. Their downfall, from the brazen M of FBG Duck to their own self-incriminating behavior, highlights the destructive nature of ego-driven decisions. As their story unfolds, it becomes evident that intelligence and foresight are essential in navigating the perilous world of criminality. Ultimately, their demesa serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us that ignorance and arrogance are the true enemies, leading only to a path of destruction and despair. Despite the tragic circumstances of his passing, FBG Duck leaves behind a complex legacy. As an artist, his music resonated with many, capturing the struggles and experiences of life in Chicago's inner city. His authenticity and raw storytelling made him a respected figure within the rap community. While his life was cut short, his impact endures through his music, which continues to resonate with audiences and shed light on the realities of urban life. FBG Duck's legacy serves as a reminder of the talent lost to senseless violence and the ongoing need for positive change within communities affected by it.